This is Fulcrum video number 2. After following the previous unpacking video, we now need to set our machine up for its first time use. Firstly, choose a location for your fulcrum. This can be a worktop or bench. A higher bench is useful if you prefer to stand during operation. A lower bench is better if you prefer to sit. Make sure the bench is sturdy and doesn't move or flex too much. We now need to plug our fulcrum in via the USB cable. This cable is a type A male to type B male. The type B connector plugs into the back of the fulcrum. The type A plugs into the rear of your PC or laptop. As of December 2023, the fulcrum will be supplied with a 5 volt DC socket on the rear. It will also be supplied with a USB to 5 volt DC power cable. You can plug the USB cable into a free port on your PC or laptop or to a plug adapter at the wall socket. Do not plug the USB cable into a hub. We are now ready to install the drivers and software. It's worth noting that this is only required when setting up your fulcrum for the first time on a brand new laptop or PC. If you have purchased an all-in-one PC with your fulcrum, then the drivers and software will already be pre-installed. As the software is constantly being updated, please contact your regional Abilink distributor for a copy of the latest release version of Abilink 3D and Diva 037 drivers. You should now have a copy of the latest version of Abilink 3D and Diva drivers. They should look something like these two. The software is an MSI file with the version number written at the end. The Diva 037 drivers are housed within a folder with the version number at the end. Don't worry if yours don't match this video as they are constantly updated over time. Firstly, we will install the drivers for the fulcrum. This will allow it to communicate with the PC and software correctly. We need to open Device Manager. If we right click on the Windows Start icon, we can select Device Manager from the pop-up menu. Initially, if you plug your fulcrum in without any drivers installed, Windows will class it as an unknown device. In this example, we can see that Windows has housed it under other devices with a yellow triangle next to it. This means Windows has identified a problem with the device. To fix this, let's install the drivers. Right click on unknown device, then select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. Click on the browse button Select your Diva 037 drivers folder. Select OK and then Next. Windows will install the drivers. Click Close when it's complete. You will now find there's a new tab within Device Manager. This is Position Measurement Devices. Within this tab, you'll see the Diva 037 USB encoder interface. The drivers are now successfully installed. We'll now install the software. Navigate to your install file. Double click the MSI file to run it. Windows will now execute the command. Select Next next and finally click install. Abling 3D will now install on your PC. Once the install is complete select finish. You will now see two icons on your desktop. Abling 3D v4, the white icon, is used for communicating with the fulcrum. Abling 3D offline, the blue icon, is the offline software for creating programs away from the machine. When operating the fulcrum, always use the white icon. 
We can now restart the PC and get started with Ableing 3D. Double click the white icon to start Ableing 3D. This will launch the software. The first thing the software will ask us to do is reference the machine. You'll see over by the right hand side of the screen the red machine reference required box. We will now individually reference each of the machine access. As we reference each one, the letters will disappear. Once all access are referenced, the red box will also go away. Firstly, we'll move the quill left and right. This will reference the C axis encoder and make the X letter disappear. We'll then move the quill forwards and backwards. This references the B axis encoder and makes the Y letter disappear. Finally, we'll move the quill up and down. This references the A axis encoder and makes the Z letter disappear. Machine referencing is now complete. The fulcrum has two different probing options. In the 2.5D kit, you have three straight down probes. These are the three, six, and eight millimeter diameters. The three and six millimeter probes are for general measurement. The eight millimeter stylus is a master probe for reteaching the gauge plate and fixture plate. The Fulcrum 3D kit includes two star probe options. These are the three and six millimeter ruby ball options. Both kits will include a tension bar. This is for tightening and loosening the stylus on the quill. To fit a standard stylus, simply locate the M4 thread on the end of the quill. Gently thread the stylus until it seats against the face of the quill and then use the tension bar in the through hole to gently give it a nip. To fit a star stylus, firstly feed the Z minus star into the through bore of the star assembly. Now locate the M4 thread on the end of the quill and gently thread the stylus until it seats against the face of the quill. Back the thread off slightly and feed the tension bar through the cross hole on the Z minus star. Using your left hand to hold the star assembly square with the machine axis. Now rotate the tension bar on the Z minus stylus until it nips up and clamps the star assembly against the end of the quill. The fulcrum uses a kinematic stylus datum plate to calibrate all stylus. The steel base plate on the fulcrum has three precision ground slots. On the underside of the kinematic stylus datum plate are three ground balls and a magnet. The three balls sit within the three slots and the whole plate is held in place via the magnet. This means it will locate in the same place every time and stay secure during datum cycles. We'll start by calibrating the 6mm straight down stylus from the 2.5D kit. Fit the stylus as per the previous section. We will now open up Probe Manager. Click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now click on the stylus and gear icon. This opens the Probe Manager window. Firstly, we will need to build a new probe. In this example, I already have stylus in here. If you want, we can delete them all out by dragging a box around all offsets and hitting the delete icon. To build a new probe, we will click on the build new probe icon. We are now within the probe builder window. We will left click on the D6 by L20 in the right hand window, then click on the green tick. 
This simultaneously adds the probe and closes the probe builder window. We now need to tell the software that we have the D6 by L20 screwed into the end of the quill. To do this, we will right click on the offset within Probe Manager. From the drop down box, we will select Set as Active. The software now knows that we have the 6mm straight down stylus fitted to the quill. We are now ready to datum the stylus. To datum the fixture, right click on the offset within Probe Manager and select Datum Fixture from the drop down list. This will open the Fulcrum Datum window. Holding the quill near the stylus, move the 6mm ball over to the Datum Fixture plate and seat the ball in one of the three three ball cluster location spots. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Hold the ball in place until you hear a beep from the software. Once you hear the beep, remove the 6mm ball and locate it in one of the other three ball cluster locations. Hold it in place until you hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, move on to the final three ball cluster location. Hold it in place until you hear the beep. Upon the final point being registered, the software will close the fulcrum datum window. It will then update the XYZ offsets, the last qualification date and datum error within Probe Manager. It's worth noting that we expect to see no higher than 10 microns within the datum error box. In a perfect world, it would be zero, but if it's higher than 10 microns, it indicates a problem. If the datum error is high, make sure the stylus is clean, secure, and free from any damage, then run the datum cycle again. We'll now look to calibrate the six millimeter star stylus from the 3D kit. Physically assemble the stylus as per the earlier instruction. We now need to add the offsets in the Pro Manager. Click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now click the stylus and gear icon. This opens the Pro Manager window. Firstly, we will need to build the probe. To do this, we will click on the build new probe icon. This opens the probe builder window. Select fulcrum star 6mm from the right hand window. We will then hit the green tick. This simultaneously adds the offset into probe manager and closes the probe builder window. We now need to tell the software that we have the 6mm star fitted to the end of the quill. To do this, we will right click on the Z minus offset. From the drop down list, we will select set as active. This now tells the software that the star probe is screwed into the end of the quill. We are now ready to datum the star stylus. To datum the star probe, firstly, Right click on the Z minus offset in Pro Manager and select Datum Fixture from the drop down list. This will open the Fulcrum Datum window. It has an extra star datum section versus the standard straight datum from earlier in the video. This section houses the data fields for all five star offsets. These are the X minus, which points to the left, X plus, which points to the right. Y minus, which points towards the front of the machine, Y plus, which points away from the front of the machine, and finally the Z minus, which points down towards the table. To start the datum cycle, we need to seat the Z minus ball into one of the three three ball cluster locations on the datum fixture plate. It doesn't matter which one you select, seat the ball within the cluster and hold it steady until you hear a beep. After you hear the beep, you can move on to the next three ball cluster location. Hold it in place until you hear the beep, then move on to the final third cluster location. So let's have a go at doing that. Again, we'll start off bottom left, seat it in place until we hear the beep. Move on to the next cluster location. And finally, the third cluster location. The software 
Now write the straight datum data within fulcrum datum window. And we can now look to start measuring the reference sphere in the middle of the fixture plate. The goal now is to measure the sphere with the Z minus offset, taking roughly 13 points. This is a point on the top and then four points around the circumference at three remaining heights. As we take more points, they will be fed into the fulcrum datum window and the goal being it will go from red to orange to green. Once it's green, it means the software is happy. We can then move on to the remaining offsets. So let's have a go at measuring the sphere. So now we have the 13 points, it has written those into the fulcrum datum window and you can see the Z minus offset is now green with a 2 micron fit. The prompt at the top is now allowing us to start taking touch points on the reference sphere with one of the other stylus tips. It doesn't matter which one we use, the software will automatically register which one we are using when it gathers the data. Let's repeat that measurement routine for the X minus star, which is the one pointing to the left. Again, 13 points, evenly spread out. We then have the X minus offset green. Repeat the process for the remaining three star probes until all offsets are green. Once all offsets are green and you hit the green tick, the fulcrum datum window will update the offsets within Probe Manager for each one of the star probe offsets. It will also update the last qualification and data mirror. Please verify the data mirror on all stylus calibrations. Again, this should never be higher than around 10 microns. If it is higher than this, it indicates an issue. Please make sure all stylus are clean, secure and free from damage and then rerun the datum cycle if this is the case. You are now ready to start measuring as all your stylus are set up and calibrated. Please move on to fulcrum video number 3 to learn how to use the software and measure your components.